Hey everyone, today's topic is over lung cancer. Um, what we're first going to dive into is some issues that people who have just been recently diagnosed with um, have faced. Um, a big one would be depression or any other uh, psychological issues. You know, they might be angry, irritable, just fatigue. Um, a whole mess of stuff that comes with getting that initial diagnosis that something is majorly wrong with their body. Um, of course, they're going to have trouble breathing. Um, I'll go into some of the symptoms a little bit later. And they might even have some body image issues. Um, depending on what type of surgery they have. Like what their uh, level of activity is going to be afterwards. They can get pretty angry about that. Um, a big issue that uh, an article I found talked about was that there's a delay in the diagnosis. So, um, so instead of catching it early and being able to do those interventions to get it, uh, under control in a fast way and then, you know, hopefully getting them into remission, um, there's a delaying prognosis that can contribute to the factor of high frequency of advanced diseases at presentation. So, like, they're probably already at stage four, or sorry, like, stage three by the time they go to a doctor and say, hey, something's majorly wrong. Um, some common symptoms at the time of presentation of lung cancer can include cough, dyspnea, chest pain, fatigue, chest infection, hemoptysis, and weight loss. And, you know, those symptoms are pretty similar to something like pneumonia or heart failure or something other than, because honestly, nobody thinks once they get like a cough or they're having trouble breathing that, oh my God, I have cancer, I need to do it right away. You know, most people are going to be like, oh, it'll go away. And, you know, these can mimic, you know, COPD so they're not thinking cancer. They're thinking, oh, I just have another breathing disease. So the doctor should see these symptoms or even if the patient doesn't, isn't exactly honest with their provider, they can just like minimize it because nobody wants to hear that they're potentially dying. Um, so that's what would lead to delay of that cancer diagnosis. Um... The medium time for the patient's first report of symptoms until the start of treatment was six months, according to this article. Six months they go without getting that treatment or anything because either the doctor wants to find any other, um, any other disease than lung cancer. Um, uh, the treatment options for lung cancer is depending on the type of lung cancer and how far it is spread. Um, it says that people with non small cell lung cancer can be treated with surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, targeted therapy, or combination. Uh, the main uh, treatment options are surgery chemotherapy, radiation, or targeted therapy, which I just uh, discussed. Uh, targeted is using drugs to block the growth and spread of cancer cells. Um, the drugs can be given as pills or uh, IV. Um, so basically your treatment option depends on what type of uh, cancer you present with, how far along this cancer has been going and where it has spread. Um, your prognosis, the cancer of five year survival rate is 18.6%. Um, the five year survival rate with cancer that is localized is about 56%. But only 16% of lung cancer cases are diagnosed at an early stage. 16%. Um, for distant tumors, which are metastasized cancer, the survival rate for five years is only 5%. And more than half of the people with lung cancer die within one year of being diagnosed. 
Um, so it was great watching that video and seeing that, you know, we're trying to help these people out and trying to advance what therapies we can do and trying to advance and teach other people how to help these people, how to make it less invasive but more effective. And I think that's a really good start to helping all these people who have developed cancer. Thank you.